Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm reviewing my Zen 104 Red Secondhand Special Edition. But before we get into the review, just a friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. I appreciate it a great deal. Thank you much. So yeah, the Zen 104, this is the STSA RS model. Uh, the RS just stands for Red Second. That's it, Red Secondhand. So just a couple of quick bullets on the company is in. It was started in 1961 in Frankfurt, Germany by former pilot Helmut Sinn. They started out manufacturing navigation clocks and pilot chronographs. And uh, here we are 60 years later with the Zen 104. Basically their flagship watch. If, uh, if watch enthusiasts have one Zen in their collection, most likely it's going to be a 104 or at least it's their most popular entry level watch. Uh, this is my first Zen and my first German watch in my personal collection, and I couldn't be more pleased with it. Um, I've had it for several months now. Uh, I don't know why it took me this long to get to a review, probably because I had it on wrist for uh, two, probably two months straight uh, with a couple of days in between there. Um, you can, here in North America, you can uh, buy Zen on watchbuy.com. That's the only place you're gonna buy it. In North America, you're not gonna be able to walk into a mall or Amazon or Joma Shop or nothing and get it there. You fly to Germany or order it on watchbuys.com. So could this be a one watch watch collection if there is a, such a thing? Well, I don't know if there is a such thing, but if you had to have one watch, I would say this is a good candidate for it. It covers a lot of, uh, checks a lot of boxes. I think the biggest one, if you don't have one watch, or a minimal watch collection is the versatility. Uh, mine is on a bracelet, but you could throw this on a black or a brown leather strap for a dress up situation. At only uh, 11 and a half millimeters thick, this slides right under your shirt cuff on a nice leather strap. And uh, it'd be perfect for a night out or even business, uh, business attire. It has a 200 uh, meter water resistance rating with a screw down crown. So that covers that box of the, uh, you know, your sport watch, even though it's not a diver, 200 meter water resistance, you're good to go with a screw down crown. Has automatic Swiss movement, you know, you can't get any better than that. Uh, you want a uh, workhorse movement and that it has. Day-day uh, complication, the two most uh, common and useful complications on a watch. And made by a reputable brand, reputable brand of uh, 60 years in the business. So, you know, what more could you ask for out of one watch? So let's go over the case dimensions here real quick. It has a 41 millimeter uh, case diameter with 46 and a half lug to lug. Like I said before, 11 and a half millimeter thick and 20 millimeter lug width which uh, makes it very easy to find all sorts of different strap combinations. And like I said before, screw down crown, sapphire crystal. Uh, the entire case is polished. Uh, the only portion of this watch that's brushed is the H links on the bracelet and the inner links are polished as well. That was a little bit of concern of mine. And I'd been eyeballing this watch for quite some time. And one thing I like about watch dials is when they have a contrasting second hand. And so when I saw the this special edition release with the red second hand, I popped on it and, uh, you know, uh, haven't looked back since. Uh, just a great experience so far with this watch. Now let's talk about the, uh, the bezel. Now here we go. This is my, here's my plug for German engineering here. Typically, on uh, most divers, or at least the, the, the divers I like, I like a 120-click bezel. <clears throat> but this has, like I said, this isn't a dive watch, so this has a 60-click bezel. And typically, in my personal opinion, 60-click bezels are very loud, clicky, and sound uh, cheap, you know. Uh, that's just my personal opinion, but, uh, you know, this one... It has, doesn't feel like a 60 click bezel and doesn't sound like a uh, 60 click bezel. So, you know, chalk it up to the German engineering on that. Uh, when I turn that, when I spin the bezel, 
Uh, I really don't even think about it being a 60 click uh, bezel. To me, it just, it's a very high quality feel and you know, I couldn't be happier with it. And uh, I think it's just a great feature. It is a uh, black aluminum insert with a countdown bezel. And here on the profile, you can see the, the angled down lugs. Now, typically with a watch of 41, in between the 41 and 42 millimeter case uh, diameter, you're gonna have, you could possibly have lugs 48 to 50 millimeter lug distance, but uh, with the design of this watch, with the, ang the lugs angled down, it really shortens it up on your wrist. And here's the, uh, you can see the coin edge bezel and the little screw right there, there's four screws on the bezel. That's how you would actually remove the bezel if you wanted to, but I have no desire to do such. The dial, we have a very minimalistic dial here. It's not a gloss, but it's not really what I would call uh, matte black. So it's just a, it's just right in my opinion. Uh, and on the dial, all you have is the Zen branding at the 12 o'clock, uh, automatic at the six, uh, spelled with a K at the end, which is a nice touch and made in Germany with the day-day complication at the three o'clock and super luminova on the indices and hands. And uh, just a great clean dial. And like, that's why I said earlier, it'd be, I would love to see this dial without a day or date. That's uh, just a personal hang up of mine. I, I think it's great uh, just to have a plain dial and screw the crown back in. So let's talk about the bracelet. Like I said earlier, it's the only pol or only uh, brushed surface on the watch, uh, as well as the clasp. And to me, uh, the clasp is the weak point of this watch. And to me, it just, you know, it doesn't fit the rest of the watch. It, look, it looks out of place on, the, on this watch. I think a watch uh, with the rest of the features that it has and the price point that we're at with this watch, it should have a, uh, much nicer clasp on it, uh, maybe something on like a bright lean level maybe, or an Oris. I just think uh, they could have done better, And but it is signed Zen. So here's a feature I wanna talk about, and that is the extension. And when I say this, I'm including myself. When most people pop this out, the first thing they call it is a dive extension. But remember, this is not a diver, it's a flieger. So this is just my personal, my personal uh, speculation. I think this is put on here in homage to, to tribute the original flieger watches of pilots back in World War II is, uh, you know, they wore their watches on the outside of their gloves or over their flight suit. So they needed a a long, uh, almost exaggerated uh, watch strap to do so to cover to get around all that material of their their suit. So I think this is done just uh, simply to honor that tradition. Not that you'll see anybody in modern times wearing this over their jacket, but uh, um, I think that's what it's for. Uh, but of course, you could use it as a dive extension. But that's just uh, my personal speculation on it. The, it is a held together with a Allen wrench, like the hex Allen wrench system. And uh, they send two Allen wrenches with each watch. You hold uh, one side uh, steady and unscrew the other side and you pop the link off. Okay, let's move on to the movement. This uh, watch is powered by Swiss made Salida. 220-1, 26 joule with a 38-hour power reserve. And it has the standard gold tone Zen rotor uh, with Zen uh, signature on it. But uh, this 
edition, one other feature of this special edition, besides the red second hand, is where it reads on the rotor, Ein von 200, which means one of 200. And I believe they made both 200 with the black dial and 200 with the white dial. So, yeah, there's your Swiss movement ticking away. Let's throw it on wrist here. Like I said, uh, my favorite thing about this watch is its wrist presence. And I have a seven and a half, between a seven and a quarter, seven and a half inch wrist. So as you see, uh, and I took one link out. Uh, I have to have a, a lot of space in my bracelets. I live in the Southwest, so living in the desert, it's not a matter if your hands and wrists swell up during the day, it's when it happens. So, and I was out earlier walking around, so um, it's already tightened up on me a little bit. So what do I like about this watch? Uh, number one thing, uh, the overall wrist presence and just the, uh, the, the, you know, having a Zen. I think, uh, you know, this is a great brand and a great model of Zen to have. I love the minimalistic dial, the bezel action on it. Like I said, for a 60 click, when I turn it, I don't even think it's 60. It doesn't sound like it, it, it and it feels like a, to me, it feels like a 120 click, 120 click bezel. Uh, my one dislike, like I said, is the clasp. It just doesn't look like it uh, belongs on the watch. I think uh, Zen can do a lot better. And that's actually very common on quite a few, most Zen models. I think that's like their one Achilles heel is their clasp. And uh, just overall, it has a very subdued look to it. It's not flashy, but it has tons of character. You know, and if uh, somebody else, you know, a normal, regular day civilian is not going to notice it. But, you know, if uh, another watch enthusiast sees this on your wrist, he's going to know exactly what it is. And that, that's pretty cool when watch people can, uh, you know, pick a pick a watch up, you know, 10, 15 feet away and know what it is. And I, I feel this watch has that presence. So... That's my review. Uh, like I said, please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. I appreciate it a great deal, and thank you for tuning in, and see you in the next one. Thanks.